I'm gonna run a quick step for a friend of mine uh, and just engrave their name in it. And it, it's gonna collect water in it, but it's in the it's in the back south side facing of, of their house, so it'll it'll dry out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna engrave their name and do a 3D texture. Uh, I ran it through the planer, I glued it up, and then ran it through the planer, and I do have some snipe here. So I'm just going to cheat, and I'm going to sand that away. It won't matter in this area. There's just going to be a, a border cut into it. So uh, I'll sand it, and then load the file, and off we go. case like this, I use the... Uh, I just disconnect the shop back from the bottom of the smart bench, and I'm already here at the bench, so I'll turn on the, the dust extractor and knock it off real quick, and then we'll get on. I'm just going to knock this down a little bit. So it's not as obvious. Just working on the ridge. Okay, uh, load the file, touch off the tool. Uh, orientation point is for the part is in the bottom, is it this, this corner here? Touch off the tool to the top of the material. And then the rest of it's standard. I'm holding this onto the table. You've seen these before in my benches. I typically put uh, some dog holes in it, so that's some, some Craig stops and their inline clamp. It's homing itself. Um, in this case, I'm using my spacer blocks that I made. Um, these are out of Corian scrap. And there's a separate video on how I just drop them in right here and everything falls right in place. And then I can home the machine and off we go. I touched off the tool in the bottom corner over here. Touched off uh, as a material home. There we are. Touched off the tool for the Z height and it's gonna start carving the inside first. Putting a lot of texture on this. Um, Randy's concerned about slipping, uh, which was the issue with the other steps that were there. So this is going to have a lot of texture and enough, enough room for him to work on. You see it's cheating the bee some. It's just kind of a 3D scallop. Because I've got this system set, it's probably running an inch with the X rails an inch above the material. There's not going to be a lot of uh, material pickup with the dust collector. That's okay for this case. I'm just going to let it carve and knock this thing out real quick and then I'll run it home. Let's go look at the job real quick in Vector. I'm not sure why it's looking like this on screen, but uh, it's just got some, some texture to it, a little wave in the background and their last name, and then a couple rectangles. So very simple, quick job to knock out, but it'll give him a lot of texture as he steps on this step. So I went in and changed the design a little bit. Um, this is not really deep enough the way I like it. So I went in and changed it. Uh, it's a .15. I changed it to .2, and I'm just having it recarve the letters, and then it will go ahead and finish it. I interrupted it before he had finished his last name, and then it'll do the border cut. Uh, but just a little deeper, 50,000, but that'll have to give it a little more uh, reveal. And again, I think water's going to collect in there and, and get, you know, that'll darken that up a little bit, you know, depending on how much the exposure dries out. So, so we're recutting just the name. I didn't do, do the surface again, and this is going to have good texture. I'm not even going to hit it with the sander. Just leave it like that. This shows the difference that the 50,000 makes. Just cutting that away. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it'll give a little more definition. I definitely like the deeper cut, uh, but in VCAR, I apparently missed the edge of the 3D for the texturing here, so it cut it here, and so now I've, I just drew another uh, offset line 316 
because it's less than a quarter inch bit, and that'll clear this. But the way I drew my rectangle wasn't quite at the edge of the uh, 3D texture. So we'll see if that cleaned it properly. It will. Okay, so there's the finish sign. Um, again, this is a high step over right here. I'm looking for texture. We just don't want them slipping. Uh, I do like the deeper cuts on the, uh, the text. Uh, so that'll work. And uh, if this doesn't work for them, uh, it's not a problem. I can just do it again whenever it's convenient. And maybe next time I'll spell his name right. Thanks for watching.